Hi, good evening and good afternoon if you're in Australia, good evening if you're in the States and early good morning, I think it's in the UK. How are you all? I am Geordie Jane, Psychic Medium. I am coming to you to live from Wallen, Australia. Uh, really looking forward to today. I'm really looking forward to taking some calls today and... Yeah, it's been a really busy week for me this week. I've had a lot of, um, bu well, busyness and information coming through, a lot of opportunities, and, yeah, it's been a great week for me since I've taken that leap or more like a push off the cliff for me in the last couple of weeks. So today I was going to definitely take some callers and see how um, what we're up to and everything. So, uh, but today it, it's more of a case of just being you. It's it's really an interesting uh, week. I have found that just being myself has been a really interesting way of looking at things this week, being very authentic and and true to myself, which has been an absolute amazing thing. Um, Michelle last week actually uh, said to me that I'm actually doing an expo with her this weekend, so I'm very excited about working with her again. Uh, so, yeah, and it's interesting because I also picked up a couple of cards uh, this morning that said omens and messages as well, which is interesting because I find that when we're so much in our heads or so much um, doing our human side of things like our work, our family, we don't actually sit quietly and, and are aware of the messages that either spirit or our loved ones bring in. And I find that spending at least a couple of minutes taking a couple of deep breaths really allows you to sit quietly and look at and hear uh, what uh, your loved ones will bring for you. So that's that's really what I find that this week will be all about. I really feel that there's more messages coming through and we're going out of, thank God, in the next couple of days, Mercury retrograde. I don't know if there's any of you that have had issues with uh, uh, communication or technology going bust or things like that. I know it's actually this week it's quite funny because our, um, our internet, cable internet, uh, has like a little battery power life. So if we lose power, which we do quite regularly up here, uh, it has a battery life, so we've got battery in there. And it's funny because my husband thought the battery was from the smoke detectors, which I do have go off every so often, which is quite funny. I know when it's spirit too because I normally tell them to stop and they will stop. So the battery has now finally gone. We've had it for nearly six years and the battery's finally decided to cark it. So we get this beep every so often, which is quite funny, and it's just... My husband thought it was the smoke detectors and it was hilarious. So we got more batteries for it and it wasn't the smoke detectors at all. So, and interesting with, uh, like, my iPhone and things like that, freezing or things. So, yeah. So thank God Mercury Retrograde is slowly going out and becoming standard or straight, as they put it, on the 15th. So tell me what's happening in your world. Give me a call uh, and I will see if I, I know I've got a couple of people lined up already. So it'll be interesting to see who is going to step through first and who's going to come through today. I am very, very excited to take calls today. So please just pick up the phone and uh, ring up. So that would be awesome. And yeah, so what else has been up to? We're school holidays at the moment. So we're nearly finished and we're going into autumn slash fall. Uh, and I feel like summer's still trying to hang on. Uh, we've been having, in Victoria, we've ha been having 30s and and very high 20 over here, and I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, so please forgive me. <laughs> I need to actually start talking to my US friends so they can give me a bit of a heads up on, on Fahrenheit and stuff for you guys. So, yeah. Uh, so I'll just explain what else I do. I am now I am a teacher. As well, I teach uh, psychic development and spiritual development, which in turn goes into mediumship as well. So we do a lot of uh, soul connecting, like connecting with our soul and connecting to a higher self to be able to connect. And it's funny, I understand that uh, people are aware that sometimes a medium can't be, uh, sorry, a psychic can't be medium and a medium 
can be psychic. Uh, I sort of feel like we work the same time, uh, but there's just the, the fact that it's more really knowing where you're actually receiving the messages from, and that's what I teach. So, okay, awesome. So I've got a couple of... Um, Call is here, so but I'm going to choose Tammy from Prescott, Arizona. So, hi, Tammy, are you there? Hi, yes. How are you? Doing just fine. Oh, that's good. I feel like there might be a slight delay, so I'll try and I'll try and make sure I don't over talk you and things like that. So, how is it in Arizona? Really hot? Is it always hot there? It's starting to get hot this week. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, because I know it's coming into summer and everything. But you guys, do you guys get snow there? Sorry, I'm totally oblivious to this, so please forgive me. You're fine. Yes, in the area that I live, we do get some snow in the wintertime. Oh, awesome. Cool. Well, that'll be good because you get extremes, wouldn't you? You get really hot and then snowy snow. I've actually got a couple of friends in Pennsylvania up, up in... I think he's in York and he gets snow and he sends me photos and I'm so jealous and I'm like, I need to have a white Christmas one year. So hopefully that will happen soon. So Tammy, did you want me to do a little bit of psychic or did you want to connect with a loved one? Because I feel like I've got someone um, coming through. So uh, it just, because the way I work, it depends on what you're after. If you want psychic or mediumship or a bit of both. Um, a little bit of both. Lovely. Okay, so what I, I I have got a lady who's standing with me, and I, I feel like she's a, a lady with poise. She's got this beautiful grace about her, but she's also very down to earth, and she she has this way of telling it how it is. She's got this beautiful tone in her voice, and uh, with her as well, it, it's like I want to say I want to give you a big kiss. I feel like I'm drawn to Dad's side, but I'm not going to quite go there just yet, but I just feel like she's wanting to say something about Dad or there's a reference to dad's side. But with her as well, I feel like she had this beautiful love connection with you and she still wants to give her heart to you. So uh, with also with this lady too, I don't feel like she was uh, quite, you know, I want to say in her 50s and 60s, maybe a little bit older than that, but I just want to say she's around that age or she's presenting that age. Uh, but does that make sense to you at the moment with this lady? Yes, it does. Thank you. She, oh, I tell you, like, she she definitely, she's got this beautiful poisonous, and I, I want to say I have, I feel like sometimes when they come through with this, I feel like sometimes I might have two, but this lady is definitely very, like, she's wanting to be well-dressed, but she's so down to earth. Like, she just wants to sit you down, tell it how it is, and really sort of bring you back and it's interesting I feel like there's a message coming through for you with her uh, I just want to say she wants to sit you down and really go right where are all your ducks your ducks aren't in a row and it's like I want to say you need to start prioritizing things at the moment because you're a little bit muddled would that make sense with you yes yeah, thank you. So with her, oh, she's just gorgeous. I want to say she's a grandmother, but I don't feel like she is. But is she a grandmother? Uh, no, it would either be my aunt or my sister-in-law. Okay, thank you. So it, it's like, okay, so I feel like it's more your aunt, not really a sister-in-law, but your aunt. Is your aunt on dad's side of the family, though? Is it your dad's sister? Yes. It um, would be sister sister-in-law. Okay, thank you. So, what? yeah, thank you. I, I want to say also that she's a little bit emotional about how she passed. There was things that sort of took her left, right and centre that she wasn't prepared for. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. And uh, she just wants to say that I feel that the she's telling me, sorry, and she's showing me how the family rallied around her and she didn't realise how loved she was because I know she had this little way about her that could put people offside, if that makes sense. Yes. Thank you. Because she, she's very emotional with the love and support that she had in her final weeks. Uh, but I do want to say, did you... Was there a distance, like as in travel distance, not as in family distance? I feel like there was a little bit of family distance, but I feel like there's more distance as in travelling because I feel that people actually came from far and wide to see her. Yes, yes, there Thank was a you. distance. 
Yeah, I want to say, because you're on... Oh, God, please forgive me about my geography. Are you on the West Coast? Yes, that is correct. Oh, close. Thank you, because I, I want to say, I feel like people came from the East Coast to come and see her, or family. Yes. They did. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Because she's going, and it's more towards the northeast rather than the southeast. It's more, she pulls me towards the northeast more. And she's just letting you know that she's very much around the family at the moment. So is there family rallying or gathering around at the moment? Is someone not well or is there a health concern or health issues around dad's side of the family? If it's not dad, it'll be someone around that family. Yes, there is some health issues on my dad's side of the family, yes. Okay, cool, because I feel like there's family rallying or family healing, but there's. I just want to say she's bringing through, sorry, bringing through her love and support for that, and she's really grateful that you guys even did that for her as well. Uh, there was a lot of, uh, she goes, there's a lot of praying and a lot of, so uh, a lot of uh, love for her, and she wasn't expecting it. I also want to say that it took her by surprise and it it didn't really, she didn't last by the time, whether or not she got the diagnosis to the time that she passed. It was very quick. I wouldn't say six months, if not more, eight months, but I wouldn't even go more than that. Would that make sense to you? Yes. Thank you. Uh, she's an absolute doll and she's just gorgeous. I also want to say she's able to have her hair to a shoulder length it's got this beautiful wave in it, and I feel like she's able to do it a lot more. So did she not have strength, or did she lose a lot of strength and a lot of, like, but I just want to say that she had nothing pretty much, and she wasn't able to do a lot of things for herself. Yes, that is correct. She had a lot of problems now, of walking. Thank you. Yes. Because she's got her hair, she's got, like, she she's just blowing it out, like, she's just pulling it out, like, she's, like, this... It's so, like, it's it's not um, buffy, buffy, but I do want to say there's a beautiful, <laughs> uh, okay, I feel like there's, she, she's telling me it's buffont, but I'm like, what? Because I know that word's like 50s and 60s, I don't feel like it's now, but she's got this beautiful wave about her, she's just gorgeous, and she's got this beautiful, like, she's making herself up, she's always got that beautiful sort of natural look to her, if that makes sense. Whew. Yes. Does that make sense to you? Awesome, Tammy. Yes, it does. Okay. Thank you. So with you, yeah, Tammy, I just want to say thank you. Oh, she's just gorgeous. Like she wants to sit down and literally have a chat, have a drink. And it's interesting. I don't know what sort of drink it is, but I know there's a certain drink and it's interesting. I can't, I can't even feel like if it's tea or coffee, there's some sort of reference to a hot drink. Or there's a reference to something um, that we wouldn't have over here is what I'm being shown because it's not in my vocabulary because I even asked her, is it tea or coffee? And she goes, no, no, no. And I'm like, well, what is that? And I can't quite get it. But she just wants to sit down and have this drink and chat with you and also wants to chat with the family. Is there four of you or is there four of a kind? Because I want to say she's making me aware there's four. Um. No, I, I I don't know what the number four is. Okay, so there's not four boys or four girls. Okay, where am I sitting? Are you you're not one of four, are you? No, I'm one of three. I have okay. yeah, one of under. Okay, cool. So, okay. Do you know Dad's not one of four? Okay, and did she have four children too? Yes, she did. Thank you. <laughs> I knew it was there. <laughs> I just have to sort of, the way they give it to me, they just give four children. I'm like, okay, so I just got to make sure I really get in and find out where it is because I can't change it. I just got to sort of fit it where they tell me to. So, okay, awesome. Just so I know I've got it. Now, okay, cool. Are you still in contact with the, your cousins? Yes, I am. Thank you. Because is there two girls? Because I want to say her two girls. Yes. Okay. And I feel if there's three, I want to talk about the two older ones. Yes, I have. Yes, I know exactly cool. what cousins. Cool. 
Cool, because yeah. I just want to say, I don't know if there's a Sharon or an SH or an S name, but she just wants to say, please let her know that she's been around her in the last couple of weeks uh, just to give her a bit of strength in her uh, move. I don't know if there's a work relationship or there's a work environment, but I know there's a big move around her. So can you please just make sure that she knows that her mum's around her, giving her the, the boost and helping her pack or move things around uh, in work-wise, but I'll leave that with you. But for you, Tammy, I just want to say that she just wants you to make sure that you don't get too muddled, because I've got a couple of minutes left, too muddled in your head. I feel like there's so many things overtaking you at the moment that you just need to separate them, if that makes sense. And I want to say this is around the work environment too, as well as family, because you want to sort of have that work-life balance and it's not quite happening, and I feel like it's only been in the last... Probably since the start of the year, I feel. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. So it, it's like I want to say you, you're you very much like me and you keep everything in your head and you don't write things down. Correct. So now start now. T yeah, <laughs> I'm a shocker. But start writing things down and I feel like that's going to clear it a lot more and you understand where everything needs to be placed. So may I leave that with you? Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else? I've got a couple of minute or so. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes. Um, I just, um, the one question I have is the little bit of um, trouble that I'm in right now, will it be life impacting for myself and my family? No. No, I don't. It's a, like I want to say it's a bit of a curveball or a bit of hump in the, in the road, but I want to say it's going to smooth out. But the way you think about it and the way you feel about it always determines the outcome. So I want to say put some positive thoughts into that and that will change what you think the outcome might be. And this is why I think you're overthinking it. Just allow it to, um, like I was going to say let it go, but just allow it to move if that makes sense. Yes, it does, 100%. Thank you. Yeah, because I just want to say that you sometimes grab onto something and you just don't want to let it go because you don't want to know what the outcome is. Please just allow it. Let it go. Let it out. So this is the outcome I would like, and I reckon that will help you move through it with a little bit more of a positive way. I know there's going to be impact, but I don't feel like it's going to be a major one. Okay. Okay. So may I leave that yes. with you? Yes. Thank you for calling Thank in. You. Thanks, Tammy. And okay. just remember, you can always connect with me at my Facebook page, Geordie Jane Psychic Medium. So, thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much, Geordie. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good evening. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Okay, so I've got Stacey from Carney. Whew. Hope I pronounced that right. Stacey, are you there? Yes. Okay, awesome. Thank you. My beautiful de um, producer just made sure I pronounced it right because I, I do have problems sometimes getting a little bit um, tongue-tied, so I do apologise. Uh, how are no, you? you got evening? it correct. Thank you. How are you this evening? I'm good. Stressed, but good. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Okay, cool. So hopefully let's let's see if I can ease that for you okay so let me just see who i have with me i know i've got a gentleman that's with me and he is very oh he's very quick and i want to say he talks really really fast like uh, uh like a bullet like a, a, a man on a mission he's just really really quick and he's really really fast talking and i do want to say with this gentleman too i feel like he was quite tall for the family i don't feel like the whole family is tall but i know he's tall because he's making me aware of it and he's got a bit of an oval face as well he oh, i can't stop talking so fast he's really really a fast talker and i do want to say that this gentleman was in elderly age when he passed so i don't know if this is a grandfather for you or a great grandfather but i just want to make reference to that with you does that make sense with you this gentleman i want to say he's wearing a suit yeah, yeah cool Sunday best. I feel like he was more of an outside person, but I do feel like he's in his Sunday best right now or he's in his best suit to present himself to you. So he wants to give you a really big hug. Interesting. Whether or not he was not a hugger, but he just wants to make reference to I need to give her a hug now. Okay. Yes. If that makes sense. Absolutely. He, okay. Now I'm trying to – is he on dad's side of the family? Yes. 
Thank you. Okay, thank you. Because I also want to say whether or not your dad's got his name as well, Ball, or there's a similarity between your dad. Is dad still here? No, he's like, not. Oh, uh, dad's passed as well. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Would I be correct in saying they looked very similar? But I want to say, like, I'm, the apple didn't fall far from the tree? Correct. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, because they I, I feel whether or not they're coming in together, I'm not sure. But one was in the eight. If if I've got your grandfather with me, I know he was in his 80s. Was your dad yep. younger than that when he passed? Because yep, I want to say was. that probably 60, maybe he may not even hit of 68, but there's a reference around that with them. Oh, my so God. Obviously you, yes. They're, they're coming through together and I feel like they're bouncing off each other. And it's really funny because... I want to say the closeness between the two has become a lot stronger since dad's gone Dad's gone as well. So I, I want to say that with you. Is mum still here, though? No, she just passed. Oh, um, okay, because I just... Okay, because I do apologise About a that. year and a oh. half ago, she did pass. Okay, because I want to say I heard mum's here. So with that, sometimes I misinterpret it. So I do apologise. Uh, so That's okay. with that she's, too, that that yeah. just gave me clarity that she's with my dad. Yeah, oh, a hundred percent. And I do want to say your dad may have been a little bit of a romantic because I feel like there was flowers. Yeah, that he <laughs> gave her when she passed. And I also want to say there is some flowers that your mum may not have liked, but he still bought them anyway. So I feel like there was a bit of a running joke with flowers that your mum may have not liked. Or the smell. It was not liked, but the smell. The smell would have really got up her nose, if that makes sense to you. That, that and she could not keep anything alive. <laughs> <laughs> Bless her. <laughs> oh, God. I, well, all I can say is they're all together, and it's really interesting because I feel like your grandfather's coming through, and I, I know Dad's there as well. But they just want to uh, – okay, thank you. Oh, your dad's very matter-of-fact, isn't he? Like, he tells it how it is, and if you don't like it, I'm sorry, you just there's the door. <laughs> yes, that's my dad. Oh, and he is. But the, the, the best thing, and I love this about him, is the fact that he can say it in a way that is laughable, that you guys know that he's just got this, this way of putting this wit and this personality and humour on, look, if you don't like it, you can leave. Don't let the door hit yep. you on the arse, but on the way out. Sorry, I nearly swore. I do apologise. But this is this is what I want to say, and he is absolutely giggling. Like, I feel like he had that little belly laugh as well, like a really funny, deep belly laugh. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. Cool. That was my dad's laugh. Yeah, yeah. Deep down um, belly laugh. Oh, God, he's funny as. Like, he just makes me laugh. He's just he's just. Gorgeous, and I want to say this is what he does. This is what he does up there. He he brings through the sense of humour, and it's absolutely gorgeous that it, when because I feel like he passed before your mum, and I know you, yeah. you said that he only your mum only passed about an, um, a year or so ago. But I want to say that he's been gone probably about seven to eight years or something, if that makes sense. Or there's a little bit longer, but I do want to say it's, there's there's, yeah. that, there's that that distance and your mum as much as she would have loved to see your dad I feel like there was a little bit of banter when mum first transitioned so I do want to say the banter is still there and it's really funny did your dad have problem with hearing or what was the reference with your mum always shouting at him my mom had a very loud 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 voice yeah, thank you. Because I can hear her yelling, and I can well not yelling, but a very overtone, yes. very high sort of not high pitched, but very loud voice. And it's it, and it sounds like someone's deaf the way she's talking. If that makes sense. Yes, it does. Uh, thank you. Uh, okay, so around you, I've got that's awesome. I've got some minutes. What I, I want to say to you, so you're a little bit stressed out at the moment. Is that what you said? There was a few things that were just a little bit, oh, okay, let me have a look. Oh, your mum's just gone, sit down, girlfriend, it's all okay, it's going to be fine. There's, there's, there's a way 
uh, there's a way to look at this that does not involve other people. There's a reference to not involving other people. So I just want to give you that reference. Does that make sense to you? Yes, it does. Thank you. Uh, okay. Oh, she she's a very sweet... I want to say I went to go and have a drink of my cup of tea and I, I feel like it wasn't sweet enough for your mum. So was she, like, loved her sugar? Yes. She always had a can of Pepsi. Always. <laughs> Because I was going to say, I feel like I, I've only got one spoon of sugar in my co- um, in my cup of tea, but I feel like I need to put four in there just to make it sweet enough. Yep. <laughs> cool. Awesome. So with her, she, she oh, the first thing she wants to do is just bring you in close and give you the biggest hug. Uh, Dad's there right beside her as well. Um, and I feel like your grandfather was the bit of a catalyst to bring it through. Um, I've only got a minute or so. Uh, so, uh, Stacey, do you have, like, is there anything in particular that you want to really sort of ask about? My relationship with my fiancé. I need to okay. know that it's going where it needs to go and there's not... Somebody coming in to interrupt. Okay, this is your insecurities. This is your insecurities. I just want to say I've got a couple of seconds, but I just want to say you need to sit down with your connection with yourself and really feel it. But I really feel like your insecurity is making you think that, and I really feel like it's going to be okay. He is a gentleman, and I might get you to maybe PM me on my Facebook page, Geordie Jane's Psychic Medium on my Facebook page because I know I've only got a couple of seconds left, Stacey, and I really want to sort of go into this a little bit more with you. So I do apologise, but I just want to say I feel with him it's not him, it's your it, just a little bit of insecurity and I feel like you've been burnt really badly. So I just want to leave it there. Does that make sense to you? Yes, 